Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Proverbs 29 verse 11. A fool gives vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. When you are angry, do you express your emotion fully? You vent your anger, you curse, you hurt people, you go crazy when you're angry. Well, friends, that's a big problem. It's a big problem. Because if you do that, then you are a fool. That's what the Bible calls you. If you have uncontrolled anger, then you are a fool. So, what should you do then? Then manage your anger because a wise man keeps himself under control. Restrain yourself, friends. Yes, there are times when uh, there is an outburst. But if it's always the case and you go beyond what is expected, maybe, uh, you know, you just want to express yourself. But if once you start cursing and throwing things at people or maybe hurting them, that's a big problem. <laughs> Amen. That's a big problem because now they are you are defying everything that the Bible is telling us to do, which is to be more forgiving, to be more loving, caring, to be kind. But if you start throwing out unkind words, curses, friends, it hurts. It hurts. In fact, if these things happen to you, you will get hurt too. So, what do you want others to do to you if they're angry? Maybe that's how you should respond also to others when you are hurt by them and you are angry. Because again, that is the golden rule. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. So if you want to be cursed when you offend someone, well, friends, I, I, have, no, I, I have no question about that. For sure, you will curse others too. But who want to be cursed? Who want to be hurt when you offend others? No. You want them to be more forgiving. You want them to understand your situation, why you are in that particular situation. Well, in the same manner, friends, be more understanding if you are the one that was hurt. Amen. Be more forgiving. Try to understand the situation why they were angry at you or why they had offended you friends all the situations you got to to consider amen and be wise a wise man keeps himself under control control your tongue control your emotion your actions especially your words friends your tongue once the word is out well, friends, uncontrolled effect. It can harm others. It can kill relationship. And we are told, friends, that even the same tongue that you use to praise God, you can use to curse others. And how many also curse God in their anger? They blame God for everything. And yet they don't blame themselves. Well, friends... This is something that you got to deal. So, again, uh, let's have a self-reflection. Are we always angry the way that it is being portrayed here? Beyond control. When you vent your anger fully, well, beyond control, friends. But choose to be wise. Keep everything under control. Your emotion, your tongue, your actions. Friends, keep everything under control and all will go well. That's why, again, we are told, friends, that if we overlook an offense, it's plus for us. It's good for us if we look overlook an offense. But why are you angry? Because you magnify an offense. You try to blow it up and so magnified that, you know, you are responding now. Very critical. But if you only just sit back, relax, and think about what happened, well, you might finally 
see that it's because of what you've done that you are in that situation. So, rather than criticizing others, well, search your heart and repent. Amen. And so today, friends, let us repent. If we are in the situation where we had uncontrolled anger, let's ask the Lord, Lord, help me, Lord. Amen. All of us, let's ask the Lord, Lord, help me uh, overcome my emotion, my anger. I pray, Lord, that I'll be wise, that I will be able to control my emotions. Amen. I'll be able to control myself. Let this be the prayer of all of us, friends, that the Lord be gracious unto us. Yes, things can happen, friends, and we react negatively. We react in a way that sometimes uh, we could not even understand why we did it. But that's part of the sinful nature. So if we are overcome by the sinful nature, ask the Lord, Lord, help me overcome my sinful nature. Help me overcome this sin. And I ask for your forgiveness. Amen. So let's ask the Lord. And the Lord be gracious, friends. And he will forgive. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. May the peace of God be upon you now. Amen. See you again next time.